tonight in Belfast. Special atmosphere already. At Sky Sports Glass on Twitter, at Sky Sports on Instagram. The treble 20 is in for a, a smashing tonight, isn't it? <laughs> it will surrender, won't it? <laughs> it, it will succumb. You, you're imagining that these will get probably eight or nine between them. And the, the thing is with them is that once that first dart does go in, uh, it's kind of it's kind of a given that the big scores will follow. But I just think that, that they're both coming to the boil nicely. They're both playing well. I'm expecting a real good game. I think that this could be the, the two performances of the night. I, I really do think that, that Chizzy's playing some of his best darts all year. And Adrian, we know what he's doing. He averaged 112 and a nine darter. There's nothing quite like Adrian Lewis in full flow. Brilliant to watch. Yeah, when he's got a rhythm about him, and we mentioned it last week, didn't we? And then he hit the nine data. I'm, I'm looking forward to watching this. This, uh, this could be a great start to the night. Cheers, Wayne. Rod Harrington and Rod Sudney commentators to this one. Thanks, Dave. Yes, this should be a corker. Last week, they hit a barrel load of maximums. In fact, in the last fortnight between them, they've hit 25 maximums. And so we can expect some fireworks on the red bit. Chisnell, bottom of the table at the moment, still with a mathematical chance of qualifying. You'd expect him to have to win all five of his games to do that. Lewis and Taylor tonight, MVG, RVB and James Wade to wrap it up. Lewis has won five out of six, Rod. He's the form man. He certainly is, Rodders, yes. He's, he's been up in it week on week. The performance has been coming. We've been, and we've been waiting for it. He's been a little bit lethargic in the early part of the league, but now he's got that scoring power going. And it's all about the first dart with both of these players, but when AD starts to get that first dart in the top of the treble, then that's where he wears it out, and that's why he hit the nine darters. So looking forward to both of these players getting the power scoring in the early part of the match. Well, consecutive strong visits from Dave Chisnell to lead a two dart combination after a dozen darts have been thrown in the opening leg here in Belfast. Night in which he plays twice, brings the curtain down against Phil Taylor later on. He now wants double 12 and now he wants double six. And that is it. Good start to Chizzy. Yes, a very tidy 15 dart leg, and that's exactly what he'd want to do. Not many 12 darters in the first leg of the match, so he kind of takes AD a little bit out of the equation on that one. However, now this is where AD has got to stay tight, because if he doesn't, Chizzy will have a little bit of confidence. And yeah. there it is! There's the first one Two. of the evening. And I think everybody's predict predicting, it. well, upwards of a 10, 180s in 57. this match. Well, a couple of times Dave Chisnell has gone 180, 180 in the Premier League. Has been able to follow it up with a 141 out. That was his 50th maximum of the Premier League. He is the maximum man, Mr. Maximum. That 50 may come up quite a few times this evening. Well, 50 for Barney on his 50th birthday. Barney's on 49 as well, Rod. So we expect Barney to hoist the half century against Michael Van Gerwen. I'm sure Barney will be waiting till later before he quaffs a few glasses of champagne to toast his birthday. Now that you bought him a bottle, oh, 41. I may do later. <laughs> yeah, I may help him. Well, that was a bad visit from AD, and he really has opened up the door for Chizzy. Chizzy's going to get six darts, may only need the three, double 16. 111. Well, that would have been for a 12. And now AD really is under pressure here. Chizzy's the one that's got out of the gate. And do you know what, Rodders? A lot of times when we expect big things from both players, one doesn't turn up, and we see it so often. Well, that's two now, that's for sure. The difficulty here for Adrian Lewis is to get up again that exhilarating nine-dart leg. OK, he's gone out and played again on the European Tour, uh, where he lost in a last leg decider but it's very hard isn't it he's, he's won five out of six to keep playing at that level every week is, is very difficult for any professional but off the back of the nine dart thrill 85 maybe not quite as easy 
Well, look at those averages. Chisnell absolutely flying. 80, we have to say, that's probably the lowest you're ever going to see from him. And Chizzy's not giving up. That's number two. And with Chizzy throwing first in this match, he's only got to break 80 once and he could be 3 0 up. For the brain power will not be too good for AD. He's just got to settle down. He's got to do what Van Gerwen does. Don't panic. Just let the natural talent come through and get back into this game. 103. Is this the time to start passing? Yeah, yeah maybe. <laughs> Three 180s, as you said, Rod. In nice three lengths five. of darts David from Watt, David Chittle. And now a chance for another 11 or 12 dart leg. Tops then, not sure if he was aiming yeah, at that, or was it just throwing in the middle and he'd just take his chances well, like on double 16 or double top. Anyway, which way it's 3 0 to an on fire Chisnell. Yes, and I'm very worried, Aidy. But this may help him out, just keep the rhythm. That may get Lewis going. The problem is, every time we see a 1 8, especially from Lewis, we kind of think we're greedy, we need another nine dart leg. 81. Well, it was here last year that he had a nine darter against James Wade. He had one last week in Liverpool. Come on, Adrian. What's the matter with you, man? 137. You're okay. But the important thing here for Lewis is to get back into the match, isn't it? Yes, he's not worried about nine dart legs at the moment. He's just worried about getting 85. a leg on the board, getting himself back in the game. And he's just starting to pitch the dart a little bit harder, which is getting the dart up in that 85. treble. Well, that doesn't help. It's going to take three darts to get home from the 99. However, Chiz is a long way off. 134. 89. Two double tops. A treble for double 10. No score. Well, now that could make life interesting rod couldn't it a 140 here from chizzy and suddenly the pressure's on that 99 like nobody's business you are exactly right exactly Whoa. right i thought chizzy might have gone 25 now he's got to take this out he cannot let chizzy come back to the board double 16 to get that leg oh it's that is class back. that is class from lewis the after busting in with his previous yeah. visit the pressure was on and he stood up to it Yes, yeah, one of the worst feelings in darts is to bust a three-figure combination and know you've got to go back right to the bottom of the mountain and start climbing again. But as you said, Rod, pure class from Lewis and underlined by his second maximum. Ninety-nine. Well, he's got the throw. Let's not now mess it up. Another one of those. 96. It just keeps him in front. He needs to hit at least one treble with every visit. He's got the advantage now. He must not let Chisnell back in the game. Or if it is, it's got to be with at least two trebles. 66. Now then, Adrian, this is where you get yourself back in this match. Yes, he beat Chisnell 7 2 when they met in Nottingham. He won't repeat that in terms of the scoreline. But he's definitely got himself back in the game. Remember, 3 0 behind. That 99 finish, when the result gets put in the leisure, might be very important. Do you know, I was surprised that AD didn't go 25 with his previous start, his last one, because that will have left him 120. That is a good checkout when under pressure. Maybe a slight mistake there from AD. Well, Chisnell has been way behind in this leg. But he's yeah, won it. On the fifth leg. Thank you. So and he re-establishes a three-leg advantage as Lewis looks for an opening 180 for the third time in this match. 350. That's that 50 again. It's everywhere. 140. The adrenaline, the excitement for Jackpot as he overpitched. Yes, there was a little bit of too much power in that second dart, and it's understandable. Even AD, when he's he's hit four, he's going to start thinking of it. Yes, his heart must have been beating out of his chest there, Adrian Lewis. The excitement of two nine darters in consecutive weeks. 
Well, he's been one. Outscored here, but he's only one break of throw down, Adrian Lewis. And Chisnell has thrown away a winning position in the last two weeks against Snakebite and Gary Anderson. Well, he doesn't have to go the bullseye route here, AD. Will he go for the ball, though? No. That's the sensible shot. There are times when you like to be a bit flash and entertain the crowd, but in this position, exactly right from Lewis. 135. Double top then for a 13 darter. And that's a well controlled and well worn leg by Adrian Lewis. Yes, last couple of weeks, Chisner was 6 3 up on Peter Wright, ended up drawing. And then last week against Gary Anderson was 6 5 up and missed 7, I think for the win he was one scratching one around on double one and Anderson and eventually just nicked it nicked the point well for the fourth time Adrian Lewis has kicked off a leg with a maximum fourth consecutive leg as well Rob yeah and but last time he got in a position got the darts then give it away this time another big score well there's the fourth again 140. Yeah, that's a great follow-up to the maximum. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. He's putting his best work in now, Adrian Lewis. And he's pressurising Chisnell, and it's got its desired result. Lewis here should get back within one, and then would have the darts to level. Remember, it was 3-0 down. Well, it was this sort of position... In the previous leg where Aidy had control, and then Chizzy went and hit a big score and took out a 96. That will leave him double 16, and now leads the treble 19 with his first dart. Now it's 12 bullseye. What a big dart this is for Adrian Lewis. 56. Could not have Adrian been closer. Glass, the 180, though, absolutely vital. The timing of it, perfect from Chisnell. His fourth of the match. To give three in hand and a double, and he only needs one. Well, that maximum, and Lewis's missed bull attempt, and it could not have been closer to going in. Crucial in the context of this match. Chisnell only needs one more leg to secure a point. Yeah, you have to give it to Chizzy. The last two legs that he's thrown first, Lewis has been in front, but a brilliant score at a crucial time. You don't have to be brilliant for the whole match, but certainly maximums and 140s at crucial times. What give you chances? 134. Indeed. And not just the scoring, Rod, as you rightly pointed out, the big score, but the finishing. Beautiful. 96 and two darts and 32 first dart in hand. 100. No messing around. Well, we called it setting up and then the checkouts, and he's got... Well, those two pretty much online this evening, and, uh, well, One scoring power is pretty good. 110 average now for Chisnell, and Lewis has gone from a 77 average up to 100. So, these last four or five legs from Lewis have been pretty exceptional. 60. Aguirre, 87. Good dart, double 18 for an 11 dart leg. Just wants to be careful, doesn't want to come inside that. Well, he did 69. not want to do that, because now... Mocking around on double nine if he comes inside again, especially if Chisnell's left himself a convenient finish. Well, that makes this double nine look a little bit slimmer. You're exactly right. Oh, no and he has opened the door, and you're right. That going inside of the double 18, no one likes the double nine. And it's given Chisnell, and he's 71% on his doubles. Five out of seven for Chisnell. So you know... On those stats, the 16, this double top is going to get rattled if it doesn't go in. It's going to be close. Games on the eight leg. Dave And Dave Chisnell Dave to throw first. takes full advantage of some errant errors on the double from Adrian Lewis. He goes 6-2 up. A double header. Remember, he played twice in Exeter earlier this year because Mark Van Gerwen was absent that night with a bad back. And Chisnell 89. won twice that evening as well. He's got the double header tonight. Can he take full advantage and pick up four priceless points to keep his Premier League dreams alive? 
I thought it was interesting, Rod, in an interview last week when I said, well, you know, do you regard yourself now as a spoiler or can you still get there? He goes, hey, I, you've got to still believe. While it's mathematically possible, we carry on. 140. Well, that's Chizzy. He's one of those players that just goes up there and plays the game that's in front of him. He doesn't think too far. He doesn't overcomplicate the game. And that, that is a great wow. thing to have in your locker. You're not going to think, overthink the game. You're not going to put pressure on yourself. And I have to say, this performance from Chisholm tonight is one of the best we've seen for a long time. He has been playing well, we know that. But he's not Eight had any bad legs. Normally you find Chizzy gets out of the gate quick and then there's a couple of bad legs. But tonight, he has kept the pressure on AD all the way. Well, from that very really first leg. Ball. Absolutely. He went into an early 3-0 lead, and he's nursed it along. Lewis has never even got back within one leg. Now he's four behind and has to win all four. To pinch a point. But his fate is in Chisnell's hands here. He should get at least a dart at bullseye. For the match, the ball. 38. Well... That's a wide. <laughs> well, what an important double eight here for Adrian Lewis, and that's class. That shows where Adi's form is as well. He's got to believe, just leg on leg. You don't think of anything else, just this leg, then the next leg. Hold on to your throw, you can still get a draw. Well, that was the first time he's broken the Chisnell throw at the fifth attempt in this match. Lewis started the evening in sixth spot, but Not just a point off the playoff places currently occupied by Michael Van Gerwen, Peter Wright, Gary Anderson, and Raymond Van Barneveld. Phil Six. Taylor fifth, Lewis sixth. The other two adrift, Wade and Chisnell. As I mentioned, Chisnell plays twice tonight. Might look a different picture when we leave Northern Ireland. Yes, a totally different picture. 93. Maybe after getting himself back in the match, has uh, kind of thrown it away to Chisney, and a big one here from Chisnell. 120. Two troubles with that visit really does put him in a commanding lead in this leg, and it will be for the match. Needs another trouble 20, or he's going for the trouble. Well, he's, well what a finish that would be to keep himself back in the game. However, Chizzy gets the first chance. 87 left, 51 the target. And found to leave one of his favourite doubles, double 18. Lewis needs the big one. He needs the ball for the big one. Oh, and for the second time tonight, Adrian Lewis rattles the wire on the middle of the board. But for his first win since week five, Dave Chisnell wants double 18. Double nine. No, he split it for double four. 32. Well, I did. You'll see that as the first bit of luck that Chisney's, Chizzy's given you. Don't give it away. Big dart here for Lewis. Nice. Oh, and he's put them both on the wire. Save it, Well, last week, these are the doubles that were causing him troubles. Double twos and double ones in that back end of that match against Anderson. Here he goes. He's been here before. Last week he was in the madhouse in Liverpool, now he's in the madhouse in Belfast. Has he got the key to the door? Yes, he has. And Dave Chisnell ends a five-game winless streak in the Premier League by defeating Adrian Lewis, seven legs to three. It